Wild Horse Studios and today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to do very basic eyes and hooves. Um, don't need a whole lot of supplies for this one. Um, for eyes you'll need white, which I don't have out because I already did them. And you'll also need for a brown eye, a brown and a black. And then for a blue eye you will need a light blue. This one I actually mix with white and make it a little bit lighter. Black and white, obviously. Um, and then for hooves, for a black hoof, you will need black and then either a dark brown or a gray. And for a natural colored hoof, you will need a skin tone. This one is flesh yellow and either a brown or a gray. So I'm going to start with brown eyes. And these are kind of the simplified versions of how I do it. Um, after I do the video, I'll go back and put a little bit more detail in these. But I wanted to keep it simple for people that are starting out. So, the first thing you, that you'll do is you'll have white paint. And you're going to take the white, and it's up to you, whichever is easier for you. And you're going to either paint the whole part of the eye white or just like half of the eye where the corner, where the eye white part of it would be. So I already have that done on this horse. Um, I did that last night while I was painting its front feet and its face. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second step, which is for a brown eye, is the brown. And I will do a separate section on how to do a blue eye. And with the brown eye, I just start in the front, hopefully you can see this without my head being annoyed, um, and then the hardest part is just making sure that the actual brown part of it where the white meets is the right shape. And then just fill it in. I make mine, I put a lot of brown paint on there at once, so for the eyes anyway. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And the hardest part is just getting the eye white the right shape. So that it's not too big, but still noticeable. Okay. And so then you're going to have to let that sit to dry for a little bit. Just the black part at the center of the eye. And on horses, horses have a very um, horizontal, like on a person it's a very round iris, and on horses it's horizontal. But um, I don't make mine completely flat and horizontal like they would be on a real horse because it just doesn't look right on a model, I think. I make mine kind of in between. They're not completely round like a person's, but they're not completely, you know, flat like a little slit either. Mine are kind of like an oval. So I just kind of follow the path around the outside. Um, you can also do it where, when I started out, the basic way to do it is to just make a line right around here and then fill in the whole thing, but then that gives it a very big pupil. Um, if you're starting out, that's an easy way to do it and to just try it out. But for this one, I'm just going to do the slits. So if you do just one like a real horse would have, it looks kind of like that, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll find out. 
and then just go a little bit above and a little bit below to kind of round it out. And then after that, look at it from a few different angles and make sure it's pretty even all the way around. So, and then if it is, then once you're happy with it, then you're pretty much done with your brown eye. That's all you really have to do. After you finish your horse, um, go and take a little bit of gloss and just gloss over it. And usually it looks pretty nice. Okay, on this horse, which is just a body that I have that I'll be redoing here in the next couple of months, I'm going to show you how to do a blue eye. And I'm just going to do one on him since I'm going to end up retaining him anyway. Um, you'll just need a little tiny bit of white to do the corner of his eye. And that's the first step on the other color too, so that way you can see how I do it. Just start in the back corner of the eye and just bring it forward a little bit. Um, you can go ahead and do the whole eye white if you want. It's just a personal preference thing. I don't need to paint the whole eye white to be able to do it, so I don't. I only paint the back half of it. The blue eye. So far you've got your eye white, and you've done the black, so then, I'll have my blue out. Usually I would lighten up my blue a little bit, but this horse isn't going to keep this blue eye anyway, so just going to use it as it is for today. But basically I would usually have something closer to this color instead of the really bright blue. I'd use a light colored one because um, most horses don't have a truly bright blue eye. But I'm going to use the bright blue so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, and then this step is probably the hardest out of any of them um, for a blue for any of the eyes. And all you have to do, so so far on the blue eye, you have just the eye white. The next step, and this seems backwards, but the next step is to take black and paint everything you would want blue in your eye. So everything except your eye white. So that it looks kind of like that. It looks, it's basically the second step that you would do on a brown eye just with black paint. So then you really have to wait to make sure that this one's dry because if it's not completely dry it doesn't work out very well is just take it and make sure you leave just a little bit of that black just a little tiny bit right between your colored part and your eye white and then fill in everything else but making sure you leave that little bitty line and I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller here in a second is the hardest part So you want it very, very small little line. And a question that I, and I've done it, my, tried to do it myself, is that the question I get a lot is can you do the blue and then go back and put the black line around the outside? And the question is, the answer is technically you can, but the line ends up much thicker and that's not really what you want. It doesn't look very realistic if you try to do it that way. Um, 
Again, you might need a couple layers of blue over that black for it to be solid. Um, but it's already blue now. And then the last thing you have to do um, is to go in and if I can find a clean brush. The last part you have to do is just take a little bit of black and do your iris, again the middle part of the eye. This will be easier to see it on this horse than it was on that horse. And just make a line and follow the outside edge. And again, check it from a few different angles to make sure it doesn't look too odd. Sometimes it looks fine from one direction and then looks really weird when you turn it another way. So, not the best blue eye, but it gets the idea across. That's pretty much it for a blue eye. That's all it takes. So, now he has one blue eye and one black eye. Which looks kind of odd on him, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to do natural color, or like light, light colored hooves first. So this is flesh yellow, or any uh, color close to a skin tone will work. Um, for this horse, I'm going to use brown shading. You can also use gray. Both look fine um, and both work well. Just personal preference. Um, I'll show examples of both of those so that way you can see them. And that's pretty much all you need for a natural colored hoof to start out with. You can go back in later and add more details. And these are the same colors that I use when I do um, like Appaloosa hooves, the striped hooves. Um, or any of my other different versions of the of color that I've done. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take the light color, the skin tone, and you're just going to paint over the whole hoof right up to the edge, wherever your your molds um, hoof starts, wherever their coronet band is. And this usually takes a couple of layers for me. Um, my light color is not very thick. So I usually have to do two layers of this before I go on to the shading. And then on the hooves that are lifted off the ground, make sure that you paint the underside of the hoof too for the ones that are flat on the ground. Um, again, that's kind of a personal choice whether you want to paint those or not. I usually don't just because it just chips off later. Um, it's hard to get a good finish coat on the bottom of the hooves. So I usually just make sure I get it nice around the edges so that it blends and then leave it. So all right. And that's one layer. After that dries, I'll go back and do a second layer. Same thing as you would on the dark hooves. 
Um, like I said, I'm going to do this with the brown, and I'm going to water down my brown just a little bit first. Um, it doesn't take much because my brown is pretty watery anyway. Um, you can use pretty much any shade of brown you want, but um, this is the same color I used for the eyes. Um, a darker brown works better, just to me and my preference. And then you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take, make sure I didn't paint out. Take this, put just a very light layer over the couple of layers you've already done. And then take the brown, make your line at the top just like you did on the dark colored hooves, except with brown this time. And then you just blend it right in. So I'm going to blend mine a little bit more just so it matches my back hooves. And on my natural colored hooves, I like to go and put just a little bit of dark right at the heel as well. Again, just go in, blend it, don't worry if it ends up somewhere weird like down here because horses, not all horses' hooves are the same. Sometimes they have dark stripes, you know, different kinds of things. So you can also do this in a gray, um, which I'm not going to show you, it's basically the same process. Um, you don't need to water it down in the gray to do it. So, Okay. And then for a black hoof, you'll need a black, which I already have, and a little bit of gray. And my gray's running out, so we're going to do it this way. It doesn't take very much, honestly. That's This is way more than you'll ever need. Um, honestly, there's probably enough here to do 20 or 30 horses, hooves and eyes. So... And then I'm going to do the dark colored hooves on the back. That brush is really good. And for the dark colored hooves, you want to just start out by putting a layer of black on. Um, for me, the black only takes one layer, but if you water it down a little bit, it might take you a couple layers. And again, if the hoof is lifted, make sure the bottom is nice and solid. If it's flat on the ground, just make sure you get the heel. For your dark colored hooves, the next step is going to be to actually shade the hooves. And that's probably the most difficult thing out of any of this, um, is just doing the shading and getting it right. So. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take a little bit of your black and just lightly put it over your hoof again so that you have something to blend it into. And then take some gray and make kind of a line right at the very top of the hoof. 
right where the hoof would meet the coronet band. And then, once you've got that on there, on a stable mate you can basically just kind of stop there um, because it will look fine even though just because it's small. But then on a big horse what you want to do is you're just going to take a brush and just brush right along the edge of where the gray meets the black and blend it in. Um, I want this one to be a little bit lighter so I'm going to put a little bit more gray in there. And do it again. And it comes out just like that. And again, once you've finished your horse and it's all dry, you can go over with some um, some gloss over the hoofs and that makes them look really nice. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I do half of a hoof at a time. Uh, just because it's easier and the paint dries really quickly when it's acrylics. I did this backwards, but that looks fine. And there you go. That's all it takes. they have a lifted hoof, and I don't know how I'm going to do this and still hold on to the horse. Um, you want to take, do the same basic thing that you did on the sides. Um, put a little bit of black just on the bottom. Try to avoid the V, v area because that's where you're going to put your gray. And just put gray on either side of the V where their frog is on a real horse. I'm going to do this with a small brush this time. And then just blend that into the black. And you may have to do it a few more times on the bottom. You may have to put a couple layers of gray on there before it actually lightens up a little bit. So if you haven't blended any paint before, you can try it on a piece of paper or something first. Um, it's kind of hard to do, especially with acrylics, it takes a little bit of practice to get them to do it. And then I also just take a line up to meet on the heel, just very lightly. And then if you happen to go over the frog like I did on the bottom, just go back in, paint right over it with your black, and you're good to go. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to follow along with my stuff, um, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, like my page on Facebook. I also have an Instagram. Um, my Instagram account is wildhorsestudio16. I probably post more there than I do ever anywhere else.